Hi everybody and welcome to Biofair Minutes. In today's episode, we will see a new application case related to biocide optimization in oil and gas water treatment. Here the overview. So where water is used and for what purposes? Our attention will be then focused on injected and produced water, their differences and a related phenomenon, the MIC. The last and the most important part is the MIC control strategy and the biocide optimization. So let's see in detail. Upstream includes the search for underwater fields and the drilling. Midstreams involves transportation and storage, while downstream refers to refining and purifying the crude oil or the natural gas. In all these phases, huge amounts of water are needed, especially in upstream operation. Here, seawater is injected in oil reservoir to maintain the pressure and drive oil towards the well. The injection is ex extensive, and also during extraction, the amount of produced water is huge, millions of barrels per day. As for all industrial applications dealing with massive amount of water, there is concern about MIC, responsible for billions of dollars in damages every year. It is caused by the presence of bacteria on metal surfaces. Indeed, the biological activity enhances the corrosion of the metal itself through several mechanisms. First, bacteria consume oxygen, boosting the metal corrosion. Second, increasing the mass transport, the corrosion itself is pushed to proceed. Third, bacteria produce auxiliary cathodic reactant. Since in offshore production facilities, water is taken directly from the sea, we have to consider the high concentration of sulfate ions that can result in scale formation. In the production well, scale deposit may significantly reduce oil extraction. In addition, it promotes the development of anaerobic bacteria that produce hydrogen sulfide. This gas generates sour fluids, very dangerous for the metal strands. That's why it's necessary to apply a treatment to seawater. Let's see. First, the seawater is collected and the biocide is continuously dosed. Then, filtration is needed to remove solids. Seawater now must be neutralized. It is recommended to eliminate also sulfate ions from injected water. Indeed, a reverse osmosis treatment is applied. Also, the presence of oxygen is very dangerous because of steel corrosion. So, in the dehydrator, oxygen is removed. Here, the development of anaerobic bacteria is very likely, so a non-oxidizing biocide is dosed. In oil and gas industries, the most used are DBMPA, THPS, and glutaraldehyde, together with dispersant. Finally, seawater has been properly treated and can be injected to wells. Biocide optimization is fundamental because if the biocide treatment cannot keep bacteria growth under control, then biofilm will proliferate. Moreover, the presence of anaerobic bacteria in seawater generate reservoir souring that increase system fragility. In the end, optimize the biocide treatment is fundamental because the more chemicals is dosed, the higher efforts and cost to eliminate them later in the produced water. The MIC occurs, of course, also in produced water, the mixture of extracted water with oil and gas. The first step is the filtration, where oil runs to midstream facilities while water must be managed. Through the activated carbon absorption step, dissolved contaminants are removed from water. Later, a non-oxidizing biocide is added to eliminate bacteria. Indeed, their presence can lead to corrosion, fouling, and sulfide release. The water treatment ends with the reverse osmosis in order to further purify the water that can now be reused. In conclusion, based on Alvin technology, which is highly specific for biofilm, 
you can monitor in real time the microbial activity of the system and dose the correct amount of biocide, both in injected and produced water, in order to optimize the water treatment. You can read the full application case at the following link. For any further question, do not hesitate to contact us or to visit our website. Thank you for your attention. I hope you liked the presentation. Bye!